What's up, everybody? It's your boy JD back again with another video. You guys know what time it is. It's time to hop back in a teenage mercenary, aka mercenary Roman, aka smoke mercenary. Y'all know what time it is. So before we get into it, make sure to like, comment, share, and subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. Want to take support any further? Patreon link is in the description below. Also, join our talking game membership and hit the notification bell so you get notified every time I upload a video or go live on these channels. Let's go and get into it, man. TA, please, I'm being completely serious here. So you're telling me, you young, that you suddenly want us to lend you our security personnel? Yes. Doesn't SW Group, oh, doesn't SA Group have its own security team? I'm sure you came with them today, didn't you? Recently, I'm finding myself unable to trust my own security. What? I was on a busy escalator a while back and someone has shoved me. In that moment, they didn't act quickly enough and I literally stumbled all the way down the escalator. Granted, there were a lot of people at the moment, so I understand maybe it was a difficult situation, but just recently there was a fire in our building and it just so happened that in that moment, the security team had left their post for a bit, so I was late to evacuate. And you've tried hiring different people. Yes, the higher ups told me that they've changed the members of my main security team, but these incidents just keep happening. SA's group security is at least within the top 20 best security teams in the country. It doesn't make sense that these strange mistakes keep happening. Get to the point, what are you really thinking here? I don't think my security is there to protect me. I think they're to watch me. Yeah, I would, or to kill you, one or the other. If not to watch you, damn sure to kill you. Maybe I'm mistaken, who knows? But I need to be sure, could you just help me out for one month? If the security personnel you send says there's nothing wrong, I'll just take it that I was being sensitive. Well, at least she does understand that maybe she could be tripping as well, so that's also good. I'll send someone over tomorrow morning. I'll be like, man, I'm just trying to send somebody over there tonight, but I appreciate it because I already know who's going to be sent over. It's going to be us. We have a new member joining us temporarily. Please welcome him. Hello, I'm Ejin Yu. Thank you for having me. She like, out of all people, she sent me a kid. It's old ass, this old ass man. Like, bro, no wonder why. Miss Kim, you should have mentioned this to us sooner. Sorry about that. GA just suddenly needed me to take him in for a bit. She promised he'd just stay by my side and not get in the way of the rest of the security team, so I couldn't say no. And SW had done a background check on him, so I trust that he's not anyone oh that he's not anyone dangerous. Alright, Miss Kim. GA, what's going on here? I just sent a teenage boy. He's an apprentice bodyguard. So he's just in training? Exactly, but don't let his title fool you. He's got the skills of a veteran. Don't worry. Yeah, you really don't need to worry. Trust me, not with us. Wait, but still, since he's still an apprentice, you can just say that I sent him over as a field assignment for training. That way, people will be less suspicious of him. If I sent a veteran over to be your bodyguard, that would make things complicated, and I'm sure your security team would be against that. She like, but a kid though? I mean, she's not wrong. He may be young, but he's also very handsome. Boy, she thirsting already? Jesus. Can we get can we get in the door first before you start thirsting? I have some business to deal with out of the office, so just come with me. Of course. I don't like how they looking at us though, I'm gonna be real. I'll leave it up to you. You young, might be overreacting here, but she's held me out a ton in the past, so I could not say oh but so I could not say no to her. her. Outside and outside of our personal relationship, we've done lots of business with you young as well. So it doesn't hurt to help out a fellow colleague. I'll be like, who gonna keep y'all? always in trouble as safe that's what been my question who gonna keep y'all always get in trouble every second i'm gone this meeting is going to be two hours long let's rotate after an hour all right no need to be so tense go and take a break 
a break here and there never hurts. Don't worry, we'll put in a good word to SW. I'm fine. See, they trying to do that bullshit already. They see they starting that bull already. Y'all see that? Gosh. Today was rough, wasn't it, Ethan? I'm fine. Like, trust me. <laughs> you don't know rough. You don't know rough. Ejen, shit, that's that's rough on a whole different level. The shit he go through on a daily basis. I could tell GA really trusts you. You have no idea. I never seen her praise someone so highly before. I'm sure Miss Sin was just being polite. I doubt it. She's not the type. So how long have you been working for SW? Not very long. I heard you're still in high school. I bet you're popular with the girls, huh? Not at all. You sure about that? Yes. Are you seeing anyone? No. Hmm. Anyway, I'm all done with official business for today, so let's head over to SW to have you dropped off. Thank you for today. No. I will head home once I see that you you have arrived home safely, Miss Kim. What is fine? I'm going to meet with a friend anyway. It's getting late. You should head home. I will stay by your side until you until your final appointment. Trust me, you're gonna need it. <clears throat> if our boy is saying it, you're gonna need it. Like once you wrapped up for the day, then we'll go. Cause you ain't you ain't about to mess up our reputation. Babe, babe. I ain't gonna lie, bro. This man look like he trying to kill you. He look like somebody that's gonna try to kill you. I'm, I miss you so much. He don't love you like that. Me too. I could be wrong though. Sit down. I bet you're exhausted. You don't have to come straight here from the airport. We could just, oh, we could have just met tomorrow. But it's been half a year. I just couldn't wait to see you. Kind of fishy. Kind of fishy. You young. Are you all right? Are you already drunk? You drugged that girl. See, I knew it. I knew it. I knew it. I He drugged her, didn't he? I knew it. So, I just have to feed her this drug. That's right. It won't kill her. So, no need to worry. I knew it. I knew it. I'm like, boy, you look like somebody's trying to kill. Once you do, we'll let you off the hook for your six billion won gambling debt. Six billion? Oh, I see why he did it. He... He got a little gambling bug problem. But I doubt you just hand over six billion to a mere boyfriend. Maybe if you we were married, you would have. Who knows? My boy say, nope, you ain't about to do nothing. What the hell? Miss Kim. Currently 11 p.m. It hasn't even been an hour, yet she's so drunk to the point of passing out. No, I can barely smell any alcohol on her. What the hell do you think you're doing? Hey, trainee, what are you doing? That's Miss Kim's boyfriend. I get that you're new, but you're really overstepping boundaries here. I'll be like, drink it. Drink it. Drink this, right. Ain't nothing wrong, drink it. If nothing is wrong, nothing fishy, go ahead and drink it. Bet you ain't gonna drink it. What? I want you to drink this right in front of me. Yep, if nothing wrong, you'll drink it. If nothing wrong, you'll drink it. Bet you something wrong, though. I bet you ain't gonna drink it, though. 
bet you ain't gonna drink it. Shit will box your ass up after this. But that's it for today's video, man. Hope you guys enjoy. You did make sure to drop a like, sub to the channel. Let me know what you guys think about everything that happened in the comment section below. Also, you guys want to keep on me, Twitch, Twitter, Discord links, all of that is in the description as well. And I will catch you guys next time. Peace.